All right, Nick, let's talk about the New Orleans Saints. This is a team made a lot of big moves this offseason. They're looking really good heading towards the start of training camp. I really like what the Saints look like this season. But, Nick, I think there's a move or an announcement, rather, that has happened. I think that it's going to make the Saints even better, and I am really excited to get into this one today. Yeah, Mice, there's a lot of momentum behind New Orleans as we get ready for training camp. This team is looking a lot better than they were last season. A lot of great additions, a lot of great excitement, and I love the report that you found involving the Saints. But before we get into that, New Orleans fans got an interesting question for you today, as always, to answer in the comment section below. Who is the fastest New Orleans Saint team history? A lot of interesting names could be on this list, but you can only pick one. Give us the fastest Saint in team history in the comment section below. All right, Mice, what you got? What's the latest out of the Big Easy? Yeah, Nick, let's talk about the Saints offense for a second. Obviously, Derek Carr, new gunslinger at the helm. Dennis Allen's offense, maybe it's a little bit complicated, maybe not. I'm sure Carr can handle it, but it will be nice if while doing this, he had a little bit of a safety blanket, a guy great at short and intermediate routes, a guy great at the slant, a guy that had surefire hands from day one in the NFL, and it seems like the Saints have gotten that guy back. Obviously, Chris Olave is a star but Michael Thomas is back on the scene, and he is 100% healthy, ready to start training camp today. I think this is big news for the Saints, but let's get on in to the article, Nick. It says, New Orleans Saints have managed to get by without Michael Thomas. However, the team is obviously always much better when their best wide receiver, at least on paper, is on the field. That's why fans might be excited to know what's expected that he's expected to be a full participant on Wednesday when training camp opens according to a report by Saints insider Nick Underhill. It's been quite a while since Thomas was fully healthy, but we cannot ignore the fact that he still holds the record for most receptions in a single season, and obviously the team will heavily rely on Chris Olave, who looked poised to have an elite career in the league from his very first snap he took in the NFL. But having Thomas as an insurance policy should give Derek Carr plenty of confidence ahead of his debut campaign with his new team. This is, of course, Nick over from the cold wire, I think this is really big news for the Saints because they said it in this. It's going to be great for Derek Carr to have his number one guy in Chris Olave, but also to have that safety blanket, to have a guy with sure hands on those short and intermediate routes. I think that's what Michael Thomas brings in spades. But Nick, I'm excited to get into this one, but I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Michael Thomas and what do you think this means for the Saints? So here's what it means for the Saints. If Michael Thomas is your number two option at wide receiver, you're a stacked football team. You're a great roster because obviously, like you alluded to, Michael Thomas, who, by the way, good point on your part, bringing up how familiar he is with Carmichael's offense. That'll definitely help his uh, relationship with Derek Carr as well. But you bring up the fact that this is a guy who has the record for receptions in a season and he's your number two guy on the offense. That is a sign that you are absolutely loaded with skilled players. And we look at this offensive line, it's got a few issues, but I think it's a little bit better than people think. They added veteran Trey Turner recently, of course, Jimmy Graham, as well as a potential red red zone threat. They've got a lot of weapons, a lot of playmakers on offense. Mice. This team right now, I think by far, they're the best team in the NFC South paper on paper. Like, I think it's not even close at this point. The question is going to be, you know, injuries. How does everybody mesh together? Does Derek Carr become what he should in New Orleans? I think he will, because right now, I think the only question for me involving the Saints, were all these players going to be healthy for the training camp as they get aligned, as they get all on the same page? It looks like everybody is. I love the Saints bringing in a couple of veterans recently as well to kind of add some competition, add some depth guys as well. This team is looking stacked. I think I've, I've talked about how much I love the Saints roster in the past, but now we're actually starting to see it all come together. I think this training camp is going to be a good one for New Orleans, and I think this team is well on its way to an NFC South title. That's how good this team is. And by the way, the NFC is wide open. Open. Don't be surprised if the Saints make a big playoff run on the back end either. Yeah, Nick, in this team, we've known about it for a while. The defense has always been ready to compete. They have a great secondary with Matthew May and Lattimore. They have a great D-line made even better by uh, the selection in the first round of Brian Brees. And now they have really great linebackers as well. So the defense, lockdown, offense looks really good. Their second-year guy coming into this year, Trevor Pinning, that left tackle, he's looking really solid. It's just everything is adding up for the Saints. It just looked really, really good on paper. As you said, they made the signings. I love this, and I love the Thomas uh, health news being a new addition to this team because he's almost like a new player. He hasn't been around for so long. He's a fresh face on this team. I think he's going to get himself acclimated quickly, and we're all going to remember exactly the guy that we watched a couple of year ago, years ago absolutely dominate the NFL. 